afternoon. I just ran to the post office and I'm sitting here in my quiet vehicle at home, parked here in my driveway, and I just thought I would uh, test out this camera I'm borrowing from a friend and tell you all a little story about, I uh, spent a little about three years ago, my husband and I, we had many conversations about a dream that the two of us wanted to take our family on. It was the dream of going west and working on a harvest crew. And we talked and we talked and we finally decided that yeah this this is what we're gonna do and we had prayed about it a lot and once we made the decision to go ahead and start sending applications um, Lots of things just started to fall into place for this th this to happen for our family. And we started to go through all the stuff at the house, selling things, giving things away, getting rid of things. Had several yard sales. Um, <clears throat> but prior to this, we, um, I guess I have to tell you a little backstory. It's not normal for a family to go on harvest crew. Now there are families on harvest crew. The owners of you know of the businesses will go with their families at sometimes some crews. But we were hoping to do something different, give our boys a a chance to see what the you know the agricultural community was like in the West with the with the harvesting. And so we had put our application in. My husband's a truck driver, he's got a very good resume. And so we knew that he would, you know, definitely be a bonus for somebody. Um, and I was willing to work as a cook or even learn to drive grain cart if we needed to. And um, we would bring our own camper so that, you know, anyway. that. And we finally, we talked to two or three that were interested. I think it was three crews that were interested and finally settled on one. And made the agreement with them that we were going to go. And at that time we then had a deadline. But in the midst of that, once we knew for sure we were going to go, we started shopping for a camper. And I had a few things about a camper that I I just had to have a certain things. I, I wanted us to have our own room and the boys to have their own room. So that meant we had to have a bunk room of some kind. And I wanted it big enough because we figured we had figured we would probably spend a year at least with this and get to see some some different parts of the country that we didn't hadn't seen before and so we wanted it big enough to be our home for a little while and we hunted and hunted and hunted I went and looked at a couple campers just didn't see anything I wanted and one day on I can't remember if it was Facebook or if it was Craigslist I saw this camper and this camper was very, very different from any we had ever seen. It had a bunk room, but the bunk room had two slides. They slid out each side of the camper, making it the biggest room in there. It also had a queen-size bed, bedroom up front. And in the center, it had another slide, a large slide, where the living and dining area slid away from the kitchen and bathroom. So it had a huge living area for a camper. And um, we went and we talked with them and looked at it made a deal with them and in the course of of um, talking with them and doing the financing with them, all that kind of stuff they told us a story their story was that they had used this camper while their house um, was being fixed I uh, forget I think maybe they had a fire and then they had water damage and they had mold they had to remediate and anyway they lived in this camper while they did that and um, it, but it was an immaculate shape and we were very delighted to get this camper and so we 
secured the camper. We had it for about a week before we needed to leave. We packed it up and with a lot of help from friends and family, we got our house cleaned out. We, um, there was another family moving in our house right on our tail and it was very, very hectic, but we, we got it done. And we pulled out and we headed west. We had some issues along the way, nothing big. We had some blown tires, a couple issues with our pulling rig. And um, we, we got to Texas and met the family we were going to work for and got set up there and spent a little time there. Um, then we went, we went further, I think south. I'm not very good with directions, but I think we went south in Texas. We were in the panhandle of Texas, in the most northern part of Texas. So we went, we went south. And we harvested for, I don't know, a month or a little better. And then we came back to the home area and did some harvesting. And then there was a lot of things that went into it, but the, it didn't work out for us to stay there with that family for the rest of the harvest. And we were very, very sad about this. We talked to some more harvest crews and just nothing, nothing worked out. And in the meantime, our vehicle had been giving us a lot of issues. It wouldn't run. I was stuck at the campsite with the boys. We did our, um, it was summer, so we weren't doing homeschool. And there was a, a basketball court there, so they played basketball. And we watched a lot of Bates family. <laughs> and, um, and in that time, we had met another family. Uh, and we had told them, had shared with them about you know, the vehicle's not working, and they were the family I met to get eggs, because, you know, you got to have eggs. Good eggs. Anyway, and we weren't sure what we should do. We were kind of stuck. The vehicle wasn't working. We didn't have another job lined up. We didn't know where we were supposed to go. We had, we had sold all of our stuff, pretty much. We had let our rental house go, and we talked with them, and they said, hey, when if you need to you come over to our farm and park your camper while you're thinking that way you don't have lot rent because lot rent there in Texas was very expensive it was as much as what rent was for us back home and so we actually spent a week with them and that was the best that meant that week will stick in my memory forever and um, and I did I learned that uh, the stars in Texas really are big they because we're out on their farm there wasn't any lights from the city I have never seen so many stars in my life and the sunrises and the sunsets over those fields was just gorgeous at the end of that week we decided we had done a lot of praying we had done a lot of working on the vehicle and we decided that we would um we're just gonna hook it up and we're gonna drive and we're gonna head for Georgia for some where some family lived and hopefully we make it and it actually ran the vehicle ran reasonably well we didn't shut it off it ran for 24 hours 23 hours it took us and we got the whole way to, to my sister's place in Georgia and then the vehicle just it took us more than a year to troubleshoot all the issues and to get it back up and running so that's the backstory fast forward we lived in the camper for the rest of that year we finally found a rental um, a farmat where we could have animals and raise our animals and get our dream of a homestead started and um, we moved in there but we um, weren't sure if that's where we'd be long term so we thought maybe we'll buy property so we'll hold on to the camper for a little bit well we decided after a little while that we're not going to um, do that we're gonna go ahead and sell the camper um, it'll ease us up financially and it can you know we'll just go from there and we tried we got the camper ready to sell we listed it we it, it just wouldn't sell I don't know what the deal was and we I lowered the price I changed the pictures and it just would not sell um, and I kind of gave up it was there on Facebook it was for sale when I had a couple people that were interested but then nobody got back to me and one day I was doing dishes and when I'm do dishes I like to watch 
other homesteaders, their YouTube channels. And I was watching this homestead channel called Art and Brie. And this is a family who's, who's a homesteading family, homeschooling family. And they have, um, sorry, there's bugs around my face. They were telling their story in the last few videos of the, they had found mold in their home and they were getting ready to do a re mold remediation and they were looking for a camper, but they couldn't find a camper. They needed one with bunk room, a camper with a bunk room. They need space. They hadn't been able to find one that, that gave them enough space for their five children and living space. And I just felt like I should send them the link. I think God was just putting on my heart that I, so I stopped the video. I didn't even get to the end of it. And I went and I, um, scrolled down through the description and found the email and I sent her an email with my phone number and I said give me a call if you're interested and it was only a couple hours later and I got a phone call from her I was just like shocked for starters I mean it's art and Brie I mean <laughs> kind of a little bit of fangirl there and then I was just amazed that all this time we had tried to sell this camper and they might possibly be interested in it so we set up a time for later in the afternoon and we did a video conference um, and I showed her the camper I showed her all the details we walked through it and at the end of that we had a verbal agreement that they were going to purchase it and um, I couldn't have been more excited so I told my husband and he said he'll be he'll be happy or he'll rejoice when it's delivered because we had told them we could deliver it and so we made more plans with Art and Brie and we delivered it this past week and it was a beautiful drive up to North Carolina from Georgia and we helped them get it set and um, I'm just glad the story of this camper is going to continue it's helping another family and if you want to see the story I'm going to put the links to Art and Brie's channel in the description and um, also the links to the story of our travel out west from my blog and um, just, it's amazing how God works in spite of our human natures, in spite of, it feels like failed dreams of our being on Harvest Crew not working out, but God knows the big picture and sometimes we're just in the right time and place to bless somebody else. So y'all go and check out their channel and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do that as well. Have a blessed day. I just had to laugh. My child put on music for me, and this is what he put on. Well, I cleaned the camper and sweat. And I get to listen to Christmas music. <laughs>